cryptex. They're used to keep secrets. The cryptex. Safe, secure, it is the quintessential pop culture puzzle box. The perfect place for all your deepest, darkest secrets. Truly, it is one of Da Vinci's greatest inventions and... Hang on. The Cryptex is a fictional device created by Dan Brown and credited to Leonardo in his popular book, The Da Vinci Code. That's right. For those of us, myself included, who thought it was an actual Da Vinci brain gem, it is in fact purely fiction from the mind of Dan Brown, which honestly doesn't make it any less impressive. Today, we are going to 3D print our very own Cryptex, fill it with our dark secrets, and give it to our worst enemy. Or maybe not the last two parts, but we're gonna make one anyway. The cryptex I decided to use is this one from Heob. Hiob. He Heob. This guy. Jumping into Cura, it can be a little confusing because looking at the files, you don't realize it, but you need 10 copies of the letter ring and 10 copies of the inner ring because it is a 10 letter cryptex. One letter per ring, so 10 letters. Cryptex. I decided to set fairly low layer heights for the outer rings because I wanted as little cleanup as possible when I decide to paint it. The same goes for the end caps. Anything that I know is gonna be visible. I just used the normal settings in Cura for the inner rings and tubes since they were not exposed and would take far too long to print at smaller layer heights. It took me a minute to understand what the spring was for and then looking closely at the outer tube, I realized I needed 20 copies of them. They are there to help the rings click into place every time you turn them. I decided to use this horrible green filament I got from Amazon. It actually prints very nicely, but the color leaves a lot to be desired. So knowing I was going to paint this, I thought it would be a good chance to use up what I could. I didn't have enough for the end caps, so I went with white for them, as well as for the springs. I decided to use white and blue for the inner rings just to make things confusing. And finally, black for the tubes. Now that we have everything printed, it's time to put it together, which in itself is a puzzle. But first, we do need a 10 letter password. So let's have a quick search and see what we can find. I figure the best way of doing this is just to Google coolest 10 letter word. And we get a lot of options. Why don't we just go with the first one and see what they have to offer. See more words. Oh my God. That is a lot of words. What? Why don't we go A to Z? And I guess we'll just go down until something jumps out and says, hey, choose me. Ab Abreactive? Abskizens? Oh, there are so many words I don't know. I guess we'll just scroll and scroll until we find one we like. Acidometer. That's cool, but like for a password? No. Acroflavin. Can you imagine if your password was Acroflavin? Oh God. I thought this was going to be the easy part, but but no, this is this is going to be tough. Apotheria. Oh, apocalypse. Oh, I think that that is that has to be our password. That is super fitting for 2020. 2020 Cryptex password anybody? Apocalypse. Yeah. Now that we have our password apocalypse, which honestly I think is quite fitting given the current climate and world situation we can start putting this thing together. I have no idea how to do this. The easiest part first is we're gonna thread this tube to that. That just screws on there, like that. Ah, okay, I see there's like a little line that we have to line up. Now I'm assuming these springs just fit in. Ah, oh. damn, that's difficult. Wait, we take this off. Ah, I'm doing what I've just done. So we'll start with these little springs. And I think that they just press into the grooves. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, we need a screwdriver or something. Nice. Ah, ah, ah. Maintain dignity at all times. Like that. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. You can get in there. You can get that. Ah. Now this is gonna take a while.
I have now put in all of the springs, all 20 of them. Uh, my fingers are actually in a little bit of pain, so if you do this, wear gloves. I did lose one, of course. I knew that was gonna happen, and I didn't print spares, so print spares. We have our outer ring, and we have our inner ring. And it looks like there is a little groove inside of the inner ring. And I'm assuming that that has to line up with the letter that we want for our word. So doing that, I have to remember how to spell apocalypse. 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 That's Greek. Apocalypse. We have our A. Wait, no, that's the wrong way. Hang on. Hang on. We've got this. We got it. We got it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. We have A. And let's put that there. Where the hell is P? P. P. Where's O? O, 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 O. Apocalypse. C. <laughs> Why is C before H? Ah, because it's a G. Apoca. Apoc. Apo. Apoca. L? L? Why? 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 This could be an amazing way to teach kids the alphabet. Just give them a cryptex and say, hey, put in the password. Eh, that was easy. Wait, that's not P. S. And for the last letter, uh, E. Give me an A. A. And what does it spell? Apocalypse. Now. So, having looked closely at this, I realized that instead of just 20, you need 30 springs. Damn it! And with the power of editing, I am back. I have printed one more row of 10 springs, as you can see here, this lovely orange. And now I can actually start putting the rings on. So. We have here our apocalypse, apocalypse. So that definitely, probably, maybe goes in like that. Or does it go like that? <laughs> because this inner tube slides out, the only way that this end cap can attach is on this side like that. I'm gonna assume at this point we can actually just glue this together. And then I don't have to worry about that falling off. Famous last words. Or should I wait? I don't know. Let's glue it and find out. All right, glue first, ask questions later. This is now glued. That should slide right in there, like that. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, and this part comes off here, so we can slide the rings on. Let's do that. So we start here, A, A. I've lost my A. Hey! Come on, come on. Oh, the springs make this really difficult. Oh my God. Maybe I'll take this out and make my life slightly easier. Nope, it didn't make my life easier. That is painful. I'm gonna unscrew this. I can start from the other end. But what letter was this? We got E. E is now attached. So this is S. Yes. Oh, that's actually quite cool. Ugh. Yeah, okay, this is getting easier. I'm getting the neck. Why is that X? What have I done? Yeah. The fun thing with this password is even if I remember the password, I have to remember how to spell it. And even if you tell someone the password, they have to know how to spell it. All right, and the last one, what is this, A? Ooh, oh, that was really easy. Ugh. Okay, did I make this too tight? Oh no. Oh no, I can't get it in! Wait, how do I spell this? Ah! A pock. Apoca, I can't even remember how to spell my own password.
I guess this is the test. If this fits in, oh, it doesn't fit. So we have to do some surgery. Uh, which means I have to take all these rings off. Oh, the pain. I'm just gonna widen this hole slightly with a knife. So I guess that's something to keep in mind. If you do make this, the tolerances for this groove here are quite tight. The pressure of the rings might make it squeeze too tightly onto this groove and you won't be able to fit your inner cylinder in. Come on, yes. All right, now moment of truth. If I spell apocalypse correctly here, in between these two arrows, I should be able to slide this inner tube inside and it should work. Oh my God, it worked. Let's see if this turns. They are hard to turn. Glue first, ask questions later. Famous last one. Glue first, ask questions later. Famous last one. So, as it turns out, in my zeal to glue the end cap to the inner tube, I pushed it in a little bit too far, which is why it was not letting the rings turn. I pulled it off and now we can glue it again, but as you can see, it works and they turn as they are supposed to. Finally, a little dab of glue along the ring there. I can do the same with this other end cap. Come on. Okay, so now I've glued that together. I've held it for about a minute so everything is solid, but as you can see, the rings turn as they're supposed to. They have a nice little, they have a nice little clinking sound. I like that, it sounds expensive. Now that it's assembled, we can put our secrets inside and let's see if our enemies can crack it. Can I miss this? No. No idea. Hello. Can I have a hint? Think end of the world. Which? Armageddon. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. you enjoyed this video and I would love you to come back for other fun projects dealing with art, 3D printing, props, and just general creativity. Please subscribe, like, and comment. It will help the channel get off to a good start and fuel bigger and better projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.